Well, coming up in two weeks' time will be one of the biggest events to hit Calder Park well, since the Australian Drag Racing Nationals back in 1994, and that attracted 50,000 people. The event is Jamboree. Now, if you're into the whole high-tech, fast fours and rotary scene, then you'll know all about it. Now, in its 25th year, Jamboree has been held at Queensland's Willowbank Raceway, Dragway in the main, but now they're finally coming down south. And if you're still not quite sure about what you'll see there, then take a look at this. Jamboree is the world's best sports compact drag racing event. Celebrating its 25th birthday this year, and there is no better way to celebrate than by hitting Calder Park Raceway in Melbourne for the very first time on Saturday, October 24th. Jamboree brings together Australia's quickest sports compact and high-tech drag cars, with international guests often competing. Jamboree is the complete entertainment package with not just world-class racing, but with plenty to see and do off-track as well, including show and shine, babe and bikini comps, freighters, kids rides, giveaways and drifting. The racing at Jamboree is world-class and filled with variety so there is something for everyone. Let's take a quick look at the categories. Street Compact is a dial your own class for registered street cars on radial tyres. All Motor is exactly that, a dial your own class for naturally aspirated cars up to six cylinders or three rotors. 289 is all about the tyre, a 28 by 9 inch slick. It is split into Street 289, which runs dial your own, and Pro 289, which is heads up. The racing is fierce and the cars resemble their streetcar origins, but are dedicated race machines with times as quick as low sevens. Modified Compact is one of the largest and most diverse fields. It is dial your own and designed for rear, front and all-wheel drives that run quicker than 10.99. You can see anything from old school rotaries to GTRs and everything in between. Extreme is exactly that, a category for cars that are too wild, different or extreme for other categories. This is where you'll see dragsters and altered, as well as high-tech V8 monsters battling it out. Modified 10.5, like 289, is based on tyre size. This time, a 10.5 inch wide tyre that is the leveller and the category is for cars that run under 950 and is heads up. Expect to see plenty of four-door sedans running six-cylinder turbo engines. Pro Compact is the first of the heads up pro categories, which are all run in a Chicago shootout format rather than elimination style racing. It is for full and three-quarter chassis pro stock style dedicated drag cars. Pro Compact is for four-cylinder and two-rotor powered cars. Meanwhile, Pro Turbo is for six-cylinder and three rotors. Factory Extreme is the headline act and we're the best of the best race and world records are set. It is for later model cars and can use four or six-cylinder engines and two or three rotor engines. Nissan V6 versus Toyota 2JZ versus Mazda Triple Rotor is the staple of this category and the cars are high tech and running speeds of over 200 miles per hour with times in the low sixes and some knocking on high fives. Heading off track now, let's take a look at some of the other entertainment on offer. The Babe and Bikini Comps are a jamboree institution. Jamboree also has a big lineup of traders showcasing the latest and greatest products in the automotive scene. The show and shine gives fans some more automotive eye candy. And completing the full entertainment package is the Drifting Exhibition. For the Melbourne event, Jamboree has teamed up with Big Drift to put on a full Top 32 drifting competition inside the Calder Park Thunderdome meaning there will be action on two tracks all day. Jamboree hits Calder Park Raceway on Saturday, October 24th, with gates open from 7am and racing on track from 9. For more information, head to the In Pit Lane website, inpitlane.com. 
செய்யுதே